I'm joined by Nyla Rose right now. You know her from All Elite Wrestling. Uh, what you might not know yet is she's part of the Tag Me In United campaign. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, the TBS Championship Tournament. Little Wrestling, how are you doing today? Doing good. Doing it despite it being a uh, dreary, rainy day. It's uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm in Pennsylvania, and I lived here most of my life. Moved away, and then when I came back, kind of realized how dreary it always is. And it's just kind <laughs> Wait, of like, what, what part of Pennsylvania? Because that place is wild. Like every building looks haunted at any given time. So right now, I live outside of Philadelphia, um, okay. but originally I'm from like Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area. Okay, very cool, very cool. So like, I've I definitely uh, worked in that area a few times. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, so uh, I'll start with the Tag Me In campaign. Uh, you're, you're one of the featured performers on that campaign. Uh, just mm -hmm. talk about how you got involved with it um, and what's going on, like how you're doing. Uh, it's, I, I wish I had a better story, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, we were, we were informed that this was a campaign. This was something that was going on, and it was just kind of a no-brainer to be a part of it. I was like, yes, absolutely, sign me up. Hey, literally tag me in on this. Um, you know, mental health is, is very important to me. It's, 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 it should be important to everybody. And as we're seeing the tides turn, it's kind of coming to light that a lot of people are struggling with varying issues. Um, and, and, you know, recently we've lost quite a few people to their struggles with mental health. So it's just a no brainer for me to be a part of this. Yeah, and if, uh, anybody wants to get involved or find out more, Tag me in United. It's the website, uh, the same handles all across social. You probably saw that there's a PSA that's going out right now. And I uh, and share, please share, share the tag, uh, share it on social. Let's get the word out. Yeah, absolutely. Share that. Uh, I said the, the social handle, excuse me. Social handles are tag me in United, uh, one word, no spaces. So it's very easy to find, get the word out. Uh, Hopefully this does a lot of good for people because it, it's not just the wrestling community, like the performers that are involved and it can help uh, anybody like that, but it, it might also help a family too. Absolutely. Anybody, Absolutely. You know, very uh, good use of that phrase, tag me in. It, it's a, it's a team effort. So all, all around good effort. Um, but you're on your own in the TBS championship tournament. Uh, you got a first round by you're now set up as we know for another showdown with Hikaru Shida. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a little bit of history with her. Just talk about your feelings about having that first round by, uh, I guess I would call it a championship uh, champions advantage. Wait, well, you're, you're a little, a little misinformed. I don't know. I don't know. You got your information. I'm not on my own. I got Vicky Guerrero by my side. Never alone when you got Vicky. You're never alone when you have a Guerrero in your corner. And I've got one of the best there is, Vicky Guerrero, mine for this business. Uh, she's she's had my head on straight. We you've you've seen you've been watching every week. We, we're we're dominating the competition. And I did not get a first round by. I earned that first round by by all the destruction we've had leading up to this and just proving why I am the native beast. Yes, you said champions advantage. Uh, being a former champion, you know, I'm, I'm kind of ahead of the game, as it were. Everybody else is playing catch up. Now, Sheeta's probably the only other person in this tournament who knows what it's like to be a champion. So it's it's been kind of my pleasure to watch Serena Deep make her life a living hell these past few weeks. Yeah, uh, I, I saw the clip uh, of Serena giving her a, a post-match beatdown you posted a few <laughs> smiley face emojis you loved it so i watched it on a loop maybe 14 <laughs> times highlight of my evening yeah so I, i'm looking forward to how that uh all breaks down uh the tournament's underway uh oh, i'll give you a spoiler i'll tell you how it's gonna break down I'm going to break Sheeta down and then whoever's next in line, be it, uh, who is it? Stat, Ruby. I don't even care. I'm going to break them down and I'm going to keep breaking them down till I get to the finals, till I get to the TBS championship. And I'm going to be the first ever inaugural TBS champion. There's your spoiler. Put it on a t-shirt, print it, buy it, wear it, tweet about it. That's what's going to happen. 
Well, you know, that, that kind of leads to my next question. Uh, you know, usually people don't want to say they're looking past an opponent or anything, but you're clearly confident in your abilities. And that's kind of also one of the other things I admire about you is, you know, your, your on-air persona is similar to your uh, social media persona, I guess I'll say, is that you are a, a good trash talker. You, if I guess people would call it a shit poster now, like you're very, you know, easygoing, fun loving, you know, how, how does like, how, how does regular Nyla and in-ring Nyla, like how do you, how do you say those two meet? Is it really just using the humor there's definitely there's definitely an overlap <laughs> there's there's a venn diagram somewhere out there where we see the overlap of the two obviously regular nyla has some other obligations to take care of but but when it's time when it's game time when it's go time um we turn it up a notch a few notches if you will uh we just we try to we try to push that envelope as far as we can and and uh we just keep it moving you already expressed your feelings about making it to the finals being the champion so i have no problem asking you who you might face in the next round who do you want to see you know i uh first first and foremost it doesn't matter who it is i really don't care selfishly selfishly i've been in there with chris statlander you know too many times to count yeah, she's a fun opponent. She's a challenging opponent at the end of the day, without a doubt. But I've yet to have some real, real quality time with Ruby Soho. Uh, thanks to Thunder Rosa robbing me of that in the Battle Royale this past year. Um, so I, I selfishly, I would probably pick Ruby. I would like to get my hands on her and just kind of keep her in check, saying, hey, listen, you're new here. You're the new. You're the new hot girl on the block. We get it. We know. But this is Nyla's house. I've been here. I've been running things. Sit down. Call IKEA. Have several seats. Wait your turn. Nyla Rose AEW welcoming committee. There you go. <laughs> you also made it to the finals in the Eliminator tournament in March. Uh, I feel like that speaks volumes you're you're you know made it the farthest out of the current competitors so you you uh have that i don't want to say callous but you know you you know that you can go deep in a tournament and it just it's not that far off so uh, exactly it's 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 not cockiness it's confidence i've been down this road i've done this before i okay listen a little bit of a sore subject First, my first opportunity against Riho for the women's championship, right? I came up a little short. I was new to the game. Riho was the veteran. She she had all the experience. She got the better of me that night. But what happened immediately after that? I circled back around. I climbed that ladder, climbed those rankings back to the top, and I took the women's championship. I've been on that ride this whole time. Everyone else in this tournament is new to this kind of thing. This, this is a new environment for them. I've been here before. I know how this works. Like you said, the first Eliminator tournament ran through them, got to the finals. This is going to be no different. Actually, you know what? I take that back. It will be different because I'm not even going to make it to the finals. I'm going to go past that to the championship itself. That is going to be the difference between this time and last time. Every single time I fail. That's just the first attempt in learning. I learn a lesson and we move on and we apply it the next time. The depth of the women's division in AEW has quickly become a, a really great strength. Uh, you know, we keep seeing new names added all the time. You mentioned Ruby Soho's the new kid on the block. Uh, you see new names all the time on dark elevation. Uh, what do you feel like? I mean, you've been there since day one. What do you feel like, you know, the the biggest gain from having all of that talent around is for you as a performer? Like, is it you get to test yourself? Is it you get to work with a variety of opponents? Like, what's really the biggest takeaway for you just seeing the growth even in the past year? Honestly, it's kind of a little bit of all of that. Everybody, 
is such a unique, strong personality. It's such a beautiful thing to see. Everyone is like this, this very unique ingredient for this, this delicious dish that we're making. So getting to just play in the kitchen, if you will, and combine these different ingredients and see what you come up with, having the different match styles, you know, someone like a Chris Statlander, a Riho, uh, Hikurushita, like just the difference in variation from person to person is so vast. It's an incredible thing to watch these matches come together. I got two more questions for you. The first one. And I got uh, two more answers for you. Hey, okay. uh, worked out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I usually do a watch list feature. I ask, uh, it kind of started as a pandemic playlist of sorts, but is there a match or matches uh, that you feel like best represent your work in AEW so far, or maybe just one that's memorable for a different reason? I know, you know, you mm. were a former champion, but is there anything Maybe it is the title match, but anything that stands out is one that you'd be like, here's Nyla Rose, my best work to this point. Um, you know, it, it, I would actually have to sit down. I don't want to take too much of your time. I have to sit down and really analyze things. But but truly, uh, I think the as a collection, the series of matches from the the first tournament, the Eliminator tournament we did leading up to Revolution might, might be some of the strongest uh, strongest of my work. I was super focused. I was going in. Uh, who we, there was Britt Baker, Tay Conti, uh, Ryumi Zanami. Like those are some really good times. And I think if if you're just jumping into this and you want to see, you want to know, that's where you should start. And there's all the talk, the hype, the TBS Championship Tournament. AEW is moving to TBS next year. What's your favorite all-time TBS show? Oh, wow. All time. Oh, man. Jeez. Put me on the spot there. Um, I don't know. Is, is, is Impractical Joker still on TBS? I'm a sucker for that. I could watch that all day. Uh, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I, I, I know it runs forever. I was thinking like reruns. I was like, I'm a Captain Planet fan. I like Seinfeld. Fresh Prince was always on. So who knows? But, you know, January, everybody's favorite show on TBS is going to be AEW. Boom, oh, there it is. Nice. I saved it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can check out Nyla on AEW programming every week. Future TBS champion. Check You're out one of the good ones. We like that. <laughs> future TBS champion. And like I said, uh, Tag Me and United. Check it out on social media. It's at Tag Me and United all across socials and Tag Me and United's the website. Uh, Check it out. It's a great cause. And Nyla, thanks again for your time today. Oh, thank you for having me. My pleasure.